Hey, good evening everyone. This is Jan from the wonderful MSC Grandiosa. Um, as you can see, I'm on the promenade. Oh, I've just dropped everything out of my handbag. That was really good. Um, it's okay, I'll pick it up after. Um, you can see the dome behind me. This changes all the time. They, they put different uh, pictures up there. But uh, twice in the evening, um, around 8.15 and around, around uh, 10.30, they have a show up there and it's always really spectacular it's beautiful you can see that um, there's a, a an upper level on the promenade that's where all the speciality restaurants are so uh, you've got the butcher's cup which we've already tried uh, not all of the speciality restaurants if i turn around um, then uh, you can see the other side and pull out which is the tapas restaurant which is just down below there are bars, there's an English pub, and um, there's, uh, there's a whole bunch of things. Over here is the Teppanyaki bar, Teppanyaki restaurant, which, is, which we're gonna try tomorrow night. So, uh, yeah, a um, couple of things that, um, to mention. I did mention that we had, um, that the, the cabin we have is a balcony cabin. One of the things which cropped up, which I actually agree with, somebody said it's a little awkward to get in and out of the um, the wardrobe because of the way it's alongside the bed instead of at the bottom. So it uh, makes it a little awkward, but um, not insurmountable to be honest, it's not major. We went into Southampton today, just had a wander around. They've got a German Christmas market there, which um, it was nice to kind of have a look around there. Freezing cold, bought myself a hat. Um, but, uh, uh, but nice, you know, just uh, just to get off ship. According to all the reports, we are sailing tomorrow morning at seven. Although I have to say, I've looked at the weather for the Bay of Biscay, and it doesn't look fantastic. So um, I'm, you know, I don't know what the plans are, but it looks like it's kind of the same. Um, really pretty much the same forecast as it is at the moment so i don't know um but uh, looking forward to that just had a pretty lazy day today one of the things i don't know if i mentioned or not is the lifts the lifts here i i love it we've got this super efficient lift system where you you select the floor that you want to go to and it tells you which lift to go in and you get in it so gone are the days of waiting hours for a lift and then when it comes it's full of people and you can't get in and you've got to go down to come back um, which is a, a, a problem on every ship I've ever been on so this is the first ship where we've had this this great system so that has been really wonderful just to confirm that they they um, have um, uh, put um, it's all right let people go by they think I'm taking pictures um, so they, uh, it's alright, she's stay, saying she doesn't want to, so I'll move her out and then she thinks I'm going somewhere else. Um, yeah, the, the, the photographs, as I mentioned, I asked to get the photographs transferred from the, the three night to the five night, and they've done that. We went to the main dining room last night, and uh, it was great, the food was great, the waiters were fine. But our table was empty. We have a table for six and we sat there like Billy No Mates. So, so we're going to see who comes tonight because we've got two bottles of rose prosecco that we can't bring back on the plane. So we have to use it. And I don't drink fizz. So um, I don't know what we're going to do if we don't have people at the table. Then uh, it's quite likely we'll just bring it down to one of the bars and give it away because we, we don't drink or give it to the river steward or something like that. Um, but um, yeah, uh, every day I just find more things about the ship that I like. Um, the staff are brilliant, got no complaints at all. Have to say though, I get a little bit defensive about when people make unwarranted comments. We were walking out today, I met an older couple and they, we were coming back from town and she said, um, oh, I've got to go into town to get some flat shoes and bring in here and we're chatting a little while. She said, and to get some decent food. And I said, what do you mean decent food? There's nothing wrong with the food. I said, it might not be to your taste. 
but there's nothing wrong with it. It's fresh food and it's cooked well. It's if it's not your taste, you, you don't say something's crap because it's not your taste. And uh, Alan always says to me, "Don't get defensive," but. You know, I, I just don't like injustice when people make comments. Hi, babe, my daughter. Um, I just don't like, and my brother's there. Hey, Nick. Um, I just don't like people making blanket statements uh, that, are, that are not relevant. Why would you say the food is crap when it's just not what you want? I mean, you know, if you want steak, pie and chips, then don't come on an MSC cruise, mind you, you could probably get that if you wanted it. And then I, there was someone else, and I did keep my mouth shut, we were just sitting having a coffee this afternoon in one of the lounges, and one lady said, she said, um, um, oh, there's no um, choice in the buffet. And I nearly choked on my coffee. And she said, it's the same every day. And I thought a couple of things, and I kept my mouth shut, and I was so, I carefully kept my mouth shut. I thought, first of all, how many restaurants do you go to where they change the menu every day? You don't. Where the buffet in any restaurant is different every day. But I wanted to say, just take one step to the left, lady. If you had freshly cooked turkey and beef and pork and lamb one day, just take one step further over, you can have chicken. Take one step further over, you can have uh, salmon. Take another step further over, you can have ethnic stuff. Um, Alan had a curry today that he loved. Then another step, you can have sa a salad. Somewhere, another step, you can have, um, uh, uh, they had ribs today. Take another step over, you can get burgers and chips and pizza and hot dogs. And how much blinking choice do you want? And I'd like to know what's in your cupboard, lady. I just, it, it just irritates me. And my husband could see me getting a little bit kind of wanting to say something. And he just looked at me like, just keep your mouth shut because I, I just hate injustice. And I hate it when people make judgments based on no information or lack of information. And uh, making sweeping statements about something without qualifying it just gives people the wrong impression. And so, um, so I meant to tell you, the food is excellent. I don't like pasta. I could say it's crap. No, it's not. It's just not my taste. I don't eat pasta. I don't eat pizza. But you know what? My waistline will tell you I don't go hungry when I'm on these cruises. And uh, there's plenty of choice. There's plenty to eat. Um, the fruit is, food is fresh. The staff are wonderful. So, yeah, really... Um, Excellent. I'm ready to go back and find my husband. I had to go back upstairs and turn my iPad Wi-Fi off so that I could use my package, which I've succumbed to, um, on this device um, so that I could speak to you tonight. But, um, yeah, just uh, put the grandiose on your list and just pray that we get out tomorrow because if we don't get out of Southampton tomorrow, then we'll be even later getting into um, uh, Barcelona. And if we get a day later getting into Barcelona, uh, it's going to mess up uh, my, my diary. As it is, we're going to be there a day late, which, hey, I don't mind. We're getting an extra day at sea, an extra day of all this wonderful food, and an extra day of our drinks package and everything, all included with no extra. And MSC are paying for our flights back on the 19th because we've had to cancel the 18th. So, you know, they, they've done right. They, they have to say they're, they're a, a good company by they sorting out people. And people that got on at Southampton expecting to sell yesterday, they offered them the opportunity to come on board for the three days that we were going to be here, three nights we're going to be here, absolutely free, and cancel their actual cruise, um, which I think is a pretty good deal. You know, if I've been offered a three, and I said, let me tell you, it's the best hotel in Southampton. So um, I think that's great. Some people will just stay on. Some people will get off. But you know what? Nobody came on this ship, the itinerary or the sun or anything. Everyone that came on board here on the inaugural cruise came on because of the ship. And, uh, and that has proven to be a great choice. The ship is beautiful. Uh, I, I'd been on the Meraviglia, and I have to say, the Meraviglia, um, 
It was lovely. It was beautiful. Very like this. But a lot of seating area had been lost. But it's all come back here. There's, a, there's plenty of space. So, hey, Noel. Good to see you, man. Um, there's, there's plenty of space on here to sit down. And... Uh, uh, and, and just a great feeling. Mind you, I have to say that the ship is only a third full, so what it would be like with a full complement of 6,300 summit passengers, I don't know. But uh, for now, it's, uh, it, it's great. So <clears throat> that's it for tonight. I'll be back tomorrow, I'll tell you about how the Chepanyaki, or however you say it, um, restaurant uh, fares up for tomorrow evening, so it'll be a bit later tomorrow. Up. We're not eating till 8.30, so I won't be on until about 9.30 or 10 to tell you what it's like. And, uh, and once we get to see, I'll be reporting on, uh, on how we're getting on with the, uh, the seas, especially heading towards the Bay of Bisco. So, um, yep, thanks for tuning in. Feel free to share, and, uh, and I'll be back tomorrow with the good, the bad, and the ugly of the cruise. Bye.